No. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I, I just seen the headline. I'm just dying again of this. Right. Only fans bribed Meta to put thousands of porn stars on terror watch list. Suit claims. Suits claim. Okay. Uh, only fans uh, squashed competitors in the online porn industry with the help of a bizarre scheme that bribed Meta employees to throw thousands of porn stars onto a terrorist watch list, according to a group of explosive lawsuits. Uh, adult performers who sold X-rated photos and videos on rival sites saw their Instagram accounts falsely tagged as containing terrorist content, crippling <coughs> pardon, uh, their ability to promote their business and devastating their incomes, according to the suits. Sellers of smutty pictures were then shadow banned across Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, and other sites, the suits allege. You know, thoughts patrolling other thoughts. Uh, targeted accounts also included businesses, celebrities, influencers, and others who have nothing to do with terrorism, <laughs> according to the suits. When I heard that my content may be listed on the terror watch list, I was outraged, Alana Evans, an adult performer and one of the plaintiffs in the California suit, alongside Kelly Pierce and others, told The Post. I was angry because it affected my income when my social media traffic dropped significantly, and I was angry because I am the daughter of a veteran who fought for this country. Uh, Evans and others were all allegedly placed in a database of terror-linked accounts run by the Global Internet Forum to Counter Terrorism, or GIFCT, a non-profit group intended to stop the spread of mass shooting videos and other terrorist content across social media sites. So basically, nudes get thrown into the mix of that as well. After adult performers who used rival sites allegedly had their names added to the GIFCT's list, traffic to the rival sites drastically fell, the suits allege. Meanwhile, OnlyFans traffic and profits soared as the site became a household name. Law firm Milberg Coleman, Bryson Phillips, Grossman, Jesus, uh, some mouthful, is representing the plaintiffs in suits filed against Meta and OnlyFans. The lawyers claim that they have acquired a list of more than 21,000 Instagram accounts they say were unfairly tagged as potential terrorists. But a previously unreported California Superior, a superior Court filing show. Uh, in a statement to the Post, Milberg partner David Azar called on Meta and the GIFCT to open up their records to help figure out whether our clients or their content are indeed on any databases intended for terrorists and how to get them off. <laughs> get them off. Uh, in a statement to the Post, OnlyFans said, We are aware that these cases have been filed. We are not aware of any evidence which supports these allegations. The alleged participants have all publicly stated that these cases have no merit. Uh, Meta did not respond to requests for comment, but told the BBC, which, they first re which first reported the bribery allegations, that it had investigated and found no evidence the terror database had been abused. These allegations are without merit, and we will address them in the context of the litigation as needed, Meta said. The GIFCT likewise did not respond to the post but told the BBC it was not aware of any evidence to support the theories presented in this lawsuit between two parties with no connection to the GIFCT. Our continuing work to enhance transparency and oversight of the GIFCT, hash sharing database is the result of extensive engagement with our stakeholders and has no connection to these claims, the GIFCT added. Stakeholders in a non-profit Curious. Uh, the plaintiffs claim the scheme dates back to 2018 when they say one or more Meta employees, potentially including an unnamed senior executive, took bribes from OnlyFans. They claim the bribes were routed from OnlyFans' parent company, Phoenix International, through a secret Hong Kong subsidiary into offshore Philippines bank accounts set up by the crooked Meta employees, potentially including at least one unnamed senior executive. How interesting. Fascinating. Uh, the suits, which also name OnlyFans majority owner uh, Leonid Radvinsky as a defendant, claim the bribes paid off around October 2018 uh, when people sold content through OnlyFans rivals were allegedly hit with a massive spike in content classification filtering activity that limited their reach. Meanwhile, users of OnlyFans enjoyed a mysterious immunity to the crackdown, the plaintiffs claim. Uh, the blacklisting of plaintiff and others has caused OnlyFans to achieve a dra drastically enlarged market share while its competitors stagnated or declined. Attorneys in a class action, uh, class action led by OnlyFans competitor Just for Fans wrote in an August court filing in California State Court, the defendants engaged in a scheme to misuse a terrorist blacklist to obtain a competitive advantage. Never, never in my life... <laughs> 
Never in my life did I think I would be doing a second channel video telling all of you about how a porn website was using terrorist watch lists to get other porn stars classed as terrorists so that they could get an edge over on the competition. Never, never did I imagine. Uh, the suits include the California Superior Court filing on behalf of Just for Fans and the California Federal Court suit on behalf of a group of several women led by the Adult Performing Artists Guild. They have a guild. I wonder what quests they give. Uh, in June, Meta asked the judge to throw out the federal suit. Hearing in both cases, hearings in both cases are slated for September. Another suit filed in Broward C County, Florida, on behalf of adult site Fan Central lists only fans as a defendant, but does not name Meta. The GIFCT was formed by Meta. Interesting. Interesting. Microsoft, Twitter, and Google's YouTube in 2017. Curious. Uh, in a joint effort to stop the spread of mass shooting videos and other terrorist material online, <clears throat> when a member of the group flags a photo, video or post as terrorist related, a digital fingerprint called a hash is shared across all of its members. Uh, in effect, that means a bikini pic wrong wrongly flagged as jihadist propaganda. <laughs> that on Instagram can also be quickly censored on Twitter or YouTube, all without the poster or public knowing that it was placed on the list, much less how or why. Uh, I've got a mate who does a lot of uh, cyber sex stuff and he told me that that's the same thing that they do with, uh, what's it called again, C CSI or is it CSI or something like child sexual abuse imagery or something, I forget that, I forget what it's called, but basically systems like that I'm fine with. If you don't want you know, murder videos or CP or anything like that getting posted on social media, so having an automatic algorithm that recognises hashes that gets rid of them, that, yeah, I completely understand that. I see how everyone's like, it's censorship, censorship. Nah, CP, nah, CP can go. <laughs> CP can go. I'm completely 100% for that stuff being scrubbed from the internet. However, it seems that some people have realised that this system can be abused instead of going after terrorist content or child sexual abuse, they are going after women with big old mama jammas, you know, <laughs> to, to, stop them, to stop them from making their competitors money. That's the problem, and that's the problem when you have systems like this, and even though they do work effectively in practice, uh, some people will find a way to abuse them. Uh, due to the proliferation of the GIFCT database, any mistake in classification of a video, picture or post as terrorist contains e content echoes across social media platforms, undermining users' right to free expression on several platforms at once. Electronic Frontier Foundation researchers Svea Vinter and Gillian C. C. York wrote in 2020, uh, the, EFF, the EFF are very good at what they do. They are very good at what they do. Uh, and I, I do enjoy a lot of the work that they get done. Uh, while the GIFCT system sounds like an efficient approach to the challenging task of correctly identifying and taking down terrorist content, it also means that one single database might be used to determine what is permissible speech and what is taken down across the entire internet, the researchers added, which yes, definitely is a valid concern. And it's something that we've already seen. It's something that we've already seen. Remember what happened on Twitter when... A certain laptop was discovered, you know, the one that belonged to a certain, you know, the, the son of a, a person of note. You know, remember when all that happened and people tried to post the pictures? Yeah, I'm just saying. So that's, that's something that can, you know, definitely be a problem. However, terrorist content, you know, something that is outright terrorist and stuff like that, or like, you know, CP and stuff like that, then to the CP stuff especially, yeah, absolutely nuke it across social media, and I completely understand why social media companies would work together to say, you know, let's have the database with all the hashes, which means not only, you know, should this be immediately deleted and being banned from being posted, but this can also probably get passed to law enforcement and stuff like that as well. Not a problem, that's fine. However, the propensity for abuse is there, and this shows it, which means it just goes to prove that you can't have algorithms doing everything, you know, it's definitely going to require a human touch. Uh, you know, I think humans touching themselves is uh, definitely one of the reasons behind this. But yeah, however, even though the system itself, I understand why it's there. However, people have already found a way to abuse it. And like I said, algorithms can't do everything. Eventually, you will need human eyes. And there are not enough humans on Earth to manage all this content. It's all going to come to a head soon. It definitely is. Like, the algorithm is just going to keep screwing up over and over. 
you know, and there's not enough people to do manual reviews. So I'm interested to see what the future holds.